Well, take a look at what Chopper 2 found. That is a Chicago police staging area in Humboldt Park. Officers outfitted for duty on the streets if there is a verdict, when there is a verdict. And organizers of Sunday's Chicago Marathon say that security is top of mind to CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely is live near the marathon starting line at Columbus and Monroe. And Derek, what's that reaction been like? Well, Rob, as you know, this year's marathon will include some 45,000 runners. But race organizers aren't only focused on the race itself. They're also preparing for possible demonstrations in the wake of the Van Dyke verdict. And so are many other Chicago institutions. It's a race that will feature runners from 100 countries, along with 1.7 million spectators. But the possibility of disruption after the Van Dyke verdict is very much top of mind. I'm a Chicagoan, so we're keenly aware of the situation. It's difficult, but um, good will come of this. Be we'll rough. move forward. We'll, we'll yeah. move, our, this community will move forward from this, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll come together. At a Sox Park staging area, police playing bags while gearing up for possible deployment. There's increased police visible at City Hall and other points in the loop. Starting tomorrow, all 4,100 Chicago firefighters are directed to take their work gear home. Helmets, boots, and more ready to be directly deployed where needed. At De La Salle Institute, which sits right across the street from police headquarters, students received this email today saying if it's known what day the Van Dyke verdict is coming, classes will be canceled. If the verdict comes without warning, it says every precaution will be taken for safety. And many other public and private schools are taking similar steps. Meantime, at a news conference today, five runners who've taken part in all 40 Chicago marathons and are running again on Sunday hope their race won't be curtailed. There's a tradition in this country of protest and, and you know, marches and stuff, but there's a place for that. If it's stopped, well, what am I going to do? It was stopped uh, 10 years ago when uh, we had very hot weather and we worked around that. So whatever happens, happens. Marathon officials noted they have successfully handled security in the wake of the 9-11 attacks and the Boston Marathon bombing. And they are confident they will do the same this weekend. Reporting live from Grant Park, Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Rob? I know that, Derek, everybody is concerned about the safety for everyone. Has there been concern that there is just not, uh, that th there will be protests no matter what happens with this verdict? Well, I think they're on guard for all possibilities. They don't know what the contingencies might be because the situation is, is very fluid and unpredictable. So I think they have the manpower and the assets they need uh, regardless of what the outcome is in the courtroom. Yeah, and they have a show of force as well. Derek Blakely, thank you. And take a look at this. The Chicago Mounted Police Unit in the heart of the loop with no warning today, just another sign of visible security in various parts of the city.